In this video, we are going to be solving an assignment problem using the Hungarian method. But before you get into the actual solution of this problem, it is important for us to understand what is assignment. The assignment method is a special form of uh, transportation method being designed for solution of problems in which an equal number of sources and destination must be paired off in an optimum manner. That is, the number of rows must be equal to the number of columns. The goal of an assignment is to find an optimal assignment of agent tasks without assigning an agent more than once and ensuring that all tasks are completed as required. The objective of an assignment may be to minimize the total time to complete a set of tasks, to minimize the cost of the assignment, to maximize skills rating, and to maximize revenues or profits. There are two types of assignment problems. Number one, minimization problem. Number two, maximization problem. Now, how do you apply assignment model in our real life? In the HR department, the assignment model could be used to assign employees to tasks. In the production department, this model could be used to assign machine to the production jobs. In the ICT department, the model could be used to network computers. It could also be used to assign fleets of aircraft to particular trips or to assign school buses to routes. Now this is a minimization problem. In this uh, question we have uh, five doctors, Anne, Brian, Cassidy, Dan and Eliza who are supposed to be assigned five jobs, one, two, three, and four. Each of these doctors has a different amount of time to do each job. Now the question is, how do we assign the doctors to the jobs in order to minimize the time taken using the Hungarian method? Now, like I said before, the first thing is to ensure that the table is square. That is, you ensure that the number of rows are equal to the number of columns. So in this case, we have uh, five doctors. One, two, three, four, five. And there are five jobs. So since uh, this uh, table is square, we can go ahead and now use the Hungarian method to solve this question. Now, certain steps are followed when you're using an Hungarian method to solve a minimization problem. So in this case, the first step is uh, reduce each row by its smallest element. Step number two is reduce each column by its smallest element. Step number three is if each row or column has a zero unique to itself, then the optimum assignment has been arrived at. How do you do this? You draw vertical and horizontal lines across the element so as to cover all zeros in as few lines as possible. Now the lines must not be less than the number of assignment. So if that uh, criteria has not been met, for example, if the number of lines are less than the number of assignment, that will prompt us to step number four. Where you are supposed to have step number four one, reduce all the uncrossed value by the value of the lowest uncrossed. Once you do that, you go to step number four two. Add this value that is the lowest and cross value to all values crossed by two lines, leaving an altered all values which are crossed only by one line. So we're going to uh, follow these steps step by step until we reach our optimal assignment. So step number one is to find the row minimum. So in the first row, we have 25, 16, 15, 14, 13. The minimum value there is 13. 25, 17, 18, 23, 15. The lowest value is 15. 30, 15, 20, 19, 14. The lowest value there is 14. 27, 20, 22, 25, 12. The lowest value is 12. 29, 19, 17, 32, 10. The lowest value is 10. Now, once you get that lower value, you're supposed now to less. In this case, we take 25 minus 13, uh, 16 minus 13, 15 minus 13, 14, 
14 minus 13, 13 minus 13. We're going to get 12 of 3, 2, 1, 0. Next, we have 25 minus 15, 17 minus 15, 18 minus um, 15, 23 minus 15, 15 minus 15. We're going to get 10, 2, 3, 8, 0. Next, we have 30 minus 14, 15 minus 14, 20 minus 14, 19 minus 14, 14 minus 14. We're going to get 16, 1, 6, 5, 0. Next, we'll have 25 minus 12 of, 20 minus 12 of, 22 minus 12 of, 25 minus 12 of, 12 minus 12 of. We're going to get 15, 8, 10, 13, 0. Finally, we'll have 29 minus 10, 19 minus 10, 17 minus 10, 32 minus 10, 10 minus 10. We'll end up with 19, 9, 7, 22, 0. So that is step number one. Step number two is now to get the column minimum. Column minimum. So in our first column, we have 12 of 10, 16, 15, 19. The rest figure there is 10. 3, 2, 1, 8, 9, the lowest value is 1. 2, 3, 6, 10, 7, the lowest value is 2. 1, 8, 5, 13, 22, the lowest value is 1. Here we have 0, automatic, to be the minimum. Once you do that, you're supposed to reduce it to all the values in that particular column. So in this case, we'll have 12 of minus 10, 10 minus 10, 16 minus uh, 10, 15 minus 10, 19 minus 10. We'll get 2, 0, 6, 5, 9. Next, we'll have uh, 3 minus 1, 2 minus 1, 1 minus 1, 8 minus 1, 9 minus 1. We'll end up with 2, 1, 0, 7, 8. Next, we'll have 2 minus 2, uh, 3 minus 2, 6 minus 2, 10 minus 2, 7 minus 2. We'll get 0, 1, 4, 8, 5. Next, we'll have 1 z minus 1, 8 minus 1, 5 minus 1, 13 minus 1, 22 minus 1. We'll end up with 0, 7, 4, 12 of 21. Next, 0 minus all these zeros, we'll end up with this 0. So step number 2, we'll have that table. So step number 3, it is states that if each row or column has a 0 unique to itself, then the optimum assignment has been arrived at. How do we do this? We draw vertical and horizontal lines across the element so as to cover all zeros in as few lines as possible. So we're going to be drawing those vertical lines, vertical and horizontal lines. The best way is to start where there are more zeros. So the first line will be here. Close that. Those zeros with uh, that line. Here we have two zeros. Here's one. So we can have another line here one one so you can close this and we close this so this is step number three so in this case now we have how many lines one two three four so we have four lines but the assignment is five so four is less than five now this will prompt us to step number four because ideally we're supposed to get five lines, but in this case we have crossed all zeros using only four lines. This means that we have not reached our optimal assignment. So step number four states, reduce all the uncrossed value by the value of the lowest uncrossed value. So we're going to go and see, reduce all the uncrossed value by the value of the lowest. So back to step number three. The lowest uncrossed value in this case is what? We have 5, 7, 8, 12, 9, 8, 5, 21. So the lowest uncrossed value is 5. So we're supposed to reduce all the uncrossed value by the lowest uncrossed value. So in this case, we're going to have 5 minus 5, 0, 7 minus 5, 2, 
8 minus 5, 3. 12 minus 5, 7. 9 minus 5, 4. 8 minus 5, 3. 5 minus 5, 0. 21 minus 5, we're going to have 16. So in your table, we have those figures. 8, 2, 3, 7. 4, 3, 0, 16. Then we go to step number 4, 2, which states that it states that add this value, which value, the lowest and cross value, which is 5, to all values crossed by 2 lines. 2 lines, leaving and altered all values which are crossed only by 1 line. So going back to our step number 3, we want to see those values which are crossed by 2 lines. So in this step, we have uh, this this part crossed by two lines, this part crossed by two lines, this line is crossed by two lines. So we're going to add that 5. So 5 plus uh, 0 will be 5. 5 plus 0, 5. 5 plus 0, 5. So our step number 4B or 4-2 will look like this. So we're going to see this part 5, 5, 5. Once you do that, the next thing is now to draw the vertical and horizontal lines to cover all zeros. So we start with where we have so many zeros. So there's two. Here we have two, two. So you can start with the first line. Here they are. The next line will be there. The next line can be there. The next line could be this one. Then we have the final line. So in this case, we have how many lines? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now this means that we have reached our optimal assignment. And how do we do that? Now we can easily allocate. So in this case, we have doctors. So in the first case, Anne can do job 3 and job 4. The next person is Brian. Brian can do job 1. Job one only because that is the only zero which is unique to that particular row. Now Cassidy can only do job number two. Cassidy can do job, job number two. Then we have Dan. Dr. Dan can do job number one and job number five. Then uh, Eliza. Dr. Eliza can do job number three and job number five but remember it is one man one job so we need to ensure that uh, we allocate each person a job so we start with so the final allocation the final assignment will look like this so we start with um, dr brian can do job one only cassidy can do job number two only so since one is gone that means dr dan can do job number five since 5 is gone, Dr. Eliza can only do job number 3. Since 3 is gone, Dr. Ann can do job number 4. So this is our assignment. So Dr. Ann to job 4, Dr. Brian to job 1, Dr. Cassidy to job 2, Dr. Dan to job 5, Dr. Eliza to job 3. So we need to go back to our initial table to establish now the number of hours they could take to do all these jobs. So back to our original table. So like we say, Dr. Ann can do job number four. So job number four, those are 14 hours. Dr. Brian can do job number one. Job number one, we have 25 hours. Dr. Cassidy can do job number two. So we have 15 hours. Dr. Dan can do job number five. Those are 12 hours. Then Dr. Eliza can do job number three. Those are 17 hours. So we're going to transfer these hours to the assignment so that we see how much time it will take all these doctors to do these jobs. So we have that uh, assignment. So Dr. Ann can do job number four. 14 hours. Dr. Brian can do job number one for 25 hours. Dr. Cassidy can do job number two 
15 hours. Dr. Dan can do job number 5, 12 hours. Dr. Eliza can do job number 3, 17 hours. So what is the total hours that's going to be taken by these doctors to do this job? So the total hours total hours taken to do this job will be 83 hours.